what what the individual values that we work on, such as trust, hope, um, care, uh, that all those values um, really develop um, the highest forms of personal and social uh, behaviour, which are competences of character, competences. So you can see that when you have developed one of these values you you develop a competence but when you group because I think it was at Julie Reese's school in uh, Ledbury uh, I was listening to a session when the children had all the values laid out and they were asked put the values in an order of importance and the children set them out and one girl had put love in the center of the of a circle of values and I said to her, why have you put love in the center? And she said, well, without love, you can't have any of the other values. And I thought that was an incredible insight from a 10 year old. Uh, but what she was expressing was that she was developing these competences, which are uh, uh, traits which can be expressed in words such as I said, altruism. And I, there are others. Um, relational trustworthy worthiness a relational trust was one of the outcomes of terence lovett's research in australia when the australians with sue carl being one of the big leaders and sue's looking at me now uh, what they found in the research in australia when values education was introduced that relational trust was improved in schools academic diligence was another of the improvements that the research showed and all these things are are values that sort of come together as competencies you're able to be more in control of yourselves you're more authentic you're more self-led you're more educated in the total sense of the word you're more culturally sensitive religiously sensitive you're more more courteous less egoless so all these are competences of character that are character traits that I believe we need to see now in our leaders. Um, and that's why I use the word demand from our leaders. So instead of calling them competences of character or any other phrase, um, I'm always trying to think what will children take to So the, the notion of super values, rather than competent, uh, uh, competences or, or any other term, seems to be a handle that children will understand. 